Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and I've had a couple of people express interest in wondering how my sapodilla has been doing in the summer house. I decided not to leave it outside this year. Um, I featured it in a repotting video early in the season when I bought it outside, and when I took it out of the pot, it had almost no roots on it at all. It had obviously succumbed to root rot over uh, winter um, having said that it still had leaves on it and didn't look too unhealthy um, however um, one of the downsides of and I put it into sort of a what I call that citrus 511 compost because I figured it would benefit from it more than uh, than the soil in it was in that seemed to be getting quite waterlogged and what I decided to do was, um, having reposted it, leave it in the summer house. Uh, now the downside of that is we had temperatures, uh, record breaking temperatures for the UK in the 30s, I mean the mid to high 30s in July. Um, so well over 100 Fahrenheit and when I looked in the uh, summer house it was actually a good 10 degrees centigrade warmer than that and what did happen is the plant lost all the leaves that were on it literally um, dried up or burnt up probably because the roots were compromised and uh, and fell off the plants um, however it did within about three or four weeks of that completely shoot out again so we know that the roots will be okay now and a more interest is it must be feeling so good that it started to put out flower buds they're not the easiest things to get to flower in this country um, again this is a sapodilla um, also known as chiku in uh, in a lot of countries that's uh, it's manual car as a pota i've had this for quite a few years now probably three or four years and it's had its ups and downs they're very challenging to keep alive here but i'm pleased to say that it's at last looking okay and looking at the little flower buds they will probably open I would guess they'll open in about a month's time they're very slow to develop I have had flowers on it before here which of course have never set very very difficult to get the plants to uh, to set uh, fruits here but it doesn't really matter it's more interesting for the time being the challenge of keeping the plant alive but it's looking very good and it's enjoying its time in the summer house and i should probably keep it in the summer house i would imagine until um probably until late october which case uh, which time i'll have to bring it inside because i don't think it will be very happy with the winter temperatures in the summer house plus i have to make room for all of the citrus to go in there but I thought I'd get it out and do a proper update people for people that are particularly interested in sapodilla and obviously if the flowers do open I will uh, I will do an update on it at that time and I said it will probably be sometime middle to late October so I'm going to put this back again but it was easy to film it out in the uh, fresh air thanks for watching the video I much appreciate it Please remember to uh, give me a thumbs up. By all means, uh, you can share the video if you think anybody might be interested in sapodillas or chikus. Please uh, remember to uh, subscribe to my channel if this sort of plant interests you. And remember to click on the bell if you'd like to know when new videos come out so you can see updates on this and my other tropicals. I'll see you on the next video. Brett out for now.